India Global. India Global. Namaskar and swagatam. We welcome you to a special episode of India Global. In India Global, we have journeyed across continents and different countries across the globe. Today, we focus not on a country but on an ancient immortal practice born in India that is now accelerating its journey across the world. The entire physical world is based on duality, fire and water, earth and sky, sun and moon, light and dark, man and woman. There can be no creation without the underlying unity of these dualistic pairs. We all yearn for this union of existence for harmony and peace within. Today we present before you the intangible, ancient, spiritual Indian wisdom of the yoga. Join me, Pradeep Kumar and Tanvi Taneja to unfold the most evergreen state of the self through the practice of yoga. As the summer solstice approaches on June 21st and the world bows to celebrate the Maiden International Day of Yoga, we take a deep breath to be still in this moment to experience a genuine communion with oneself, with our environment and with the Divine. Yoga is derived from the Sanskrit word yoga, which means to unite or join. Yoga is not a religion. It is essentially a method or system of physical, mental and spiritual development. The purpose of yoga is to unite man, the finite, with the infinite, the cosmic consciousness, truth, God, light or whatever name we choose to call the ultimate reality. The origins of yoga go back to pre-Vedic times. Most yoga practices today are founded on the Yoga Sutras written by the sage Patanjali. The earliest texts describing the practice of yoga date back to 2700 BC, where a number of fossil remains of the Indus Valley Civilization reveal yogic motifs, suggesting the presence of yoga in ancient India. The references to yoga are also available in Indian folklore, Vedic and Upanishadic heritage, Buddhist and Jain traditions, darshans, and epics of Mahabharata and Ramayana. The Murarji Desai National Institute of Yoga, located in the heart of New Delhi, is the only government institute teaching yoga since 1976. Dr. Ishwar B. Basavareddy, Director, Murarji Desai National Institute of Yoga, has taught yoga to more than 70,000 people over the years. Telling about this institute, he says, Murarji Desai National Institute of Yoga is a premier institute under the Ministry of Irish Government of India. Now we are conducting a degree course, a diploma course, certificate courses and many training and therapy programs. Especially during the last 6-7 months, I found the people are more interested in the practice of yoga. International Day of Yoga has been announced and a unique uh, protocol has been devised and uh, our institute is engaged in preparing all the reading material, booklets, DVDs. So there is a huge public demand for the yoga in the recent past. This is what men and women, young and old, experts and learners at the Marathi Desai National Institute of Yoga have to say about yoga as a way of living a healthy and happy life. I have been practicing yoga since I was 12 because uh, my father is a yoga teacher. I really like Ustan Pad Asan. It's for the stomach. I have been doing yoga for two months and it's been great. I have seen improvements in my own flexibility and in my day to day life as well. Yoga means fitness. Yoga day is a particular day. This is a positive move in the interest of the nation which Prime Minister has taken. But in my opinion, every day is yoga day. Yoga, I find it that yoga is one of the only forms of exercise which purify your inner self as well as the outer self. It is very relaxing and most people prefer gym, but I would any day prefer yoga than gym. <laughs> Sounds of learners practicing Hasya Yoga, a form of yoga where groups of people laugh forcefully. Their forced laughter soon turns into spontaneous laughter. Powerfully aware of all the immense benefits that yoga confers on its practitioners, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, addressing the 69th session of the United Nations General Assembly on 27th September 2014, urged it to adopt an International Day of Yoga. 
आज यहां खड़े होकर के मैं इस महासभा का एक और विषय पर भी ध्यान आकर्षित करना चाहता हूं योग हमारी पुरातन पारंपरिक अमूल्य देन है योग मन व शरीर विचार व कर्म संयम व उपलब्धि की एकात्मता का तथा मानव व प्रकृति के बीच सामंजस्य का मूर्त रूप है आइए हम एक अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योग दिवस को आरंभ करने की दिशा में कार्य करें Barely 75 days after mooting the idea on 11th December 2014 the 193 member United Nations General Assembly unanimously passed a resolution to establish 21st June as the International Day of Yoga a record 177 countries had co-sponsored the proposal India's external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj commends this remarkable achievement for the country मात्र 12 महीनों में भारत विश्व के उस शिखर पर पहुंचा है जहां भारत बोलता है तो दुनिया सुनती है 21 जून का अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योग दिवस के रूप में घोषित होना उसका प्रत्यक्ष प्रमाण है With the adoption of the resolution for an International Day of Yoga, the United Nations has formally acknowledged yoga as a holistic approach to health and well-being and chosen to promote yoga for a disease-free, healthy world. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has thanked the UN General Assembly and all the 177 nations of the global body for adopting an India-led resolution and declaring June 21st as the International Day of Yoga. He also urged all citizens to practice yoga to actualize one's full potential. Ambassador Ashok Mukherjee, India's permanent representative to the United Nations, tells us more about how India floated the idea for an International Day of Yoga. In the case of the proposal for the International Day of Yoga the idea was to collect together as a core group countries which either had very active yoga associations and were very well aware of the impact of yoga on health or countries in which there was a lot of interest in yoga we were able to manage to collect initial group of 18 ambassadors of 18 countries who then helped us to reach out to the broader membership we decided therefore to work with the date earmarked in the calendar for considering the issues of global health which was at that time indicated as the 10th of december and working backwards from this outer deadline we had to initiate consultations with all the member states in the united nations general assembly It was the upshot of such intense coordinated efforts by India's overseas missions that culminated in the unanimous adoption of the UN resolution on International Day of Yoga with not a single negative vote being cast. Ashok Mukherjee, India's permanent representative at the United Nations, recalls the early response of the United States of America and the People's Republic of China to the proposal of declaring an International Day of Yoga. I would like to make a special mention of the very positive response that we received very early on in our campaign from the People's Republic of China. We were also able to get the quick response of the United States which has perhaps the largest number of yoga associations outside India. And with these two crucial partners co-sponsoring with us, it was easier for us to reach out to a large number of other countries. Now the world is just hours away from the first International Day of Yoga on Sunday, June 21st. It promises to be a mega event globally with scores of countries preparing to usher in the day with active and willing participation of people of all ages and walks of life. A joyous celebration of a healthy living Indian practice is all set to go global. For instance, the ceremony at the United Nations Visitors Plaza in New York will be attended by UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and the President of the 69th UN General Assembly, Sam Kuresa. The function will be broadcast live globally on UN television and also to an audience of thousands at the Times Square in New York. Thousands at the Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts too will perform yoga exercises along with your guru Shri Shri Ravi Shankar. stressing the importance of yoga for a healthy lifestyle shri shri ravi shankar has commended india the birthplace of yoga for finally having taken the steps for its propagation and addressing the european parliament in brussels in belgium in april this year shri shri ravi shankar said i'm glad today there is awakening people have recognized the importance of yoga world over yoga has become synonymous with relaxation happiness or a creative mind
India has planned its own elaborate celebrations for the first International Day of Yoga, both at home and abroad. The day will be celebrated in 192 countries, despite India having missions in 121 countries. Here's what Indian ambassadors and high commissioners in various countries have to say about the preparations for celebrating the International Day of Yoga overseas. India's ambassador to Indonesia, Gurjeet Singh. We are very happy that International Day of Yoga is being celebrated all over Indonesia. We are expecting more than 5,000 people to participate in these activities, even though it's the period of Ramadan. Indian Ambassador to Russia, P.S. Raghavan, says... We have had tremendous response in Russia to our call for participation in the International Day of Yoga and we now expect that the International Day of Yoga will be celebrated in well over 200 centers all over this country. India's ambassador to Iceland, Ashok Das. The Yoga Day will be celebrated in a very befitting manner in Iceland. We are expecting people in thousands, not in hundreds. Indian High Commissioner to Mauritius, Anup Kumar Mudgal. As far as Mauritius is concerned, on 21st June itself, we are going to have a major function in the morning. This will be held at the prestigious Vivekananda Center. This function will be chaired by none other than the Prime Minister of Mauritius, Sir Anirudh Jagannath. We are also going to release a special cover, which has been brought out in collaboration with Mauritian Post. India's ambassador to Argentina, Amarendra Khatua. In all the three countries, in Argentina, Uruguay and Paraguay, we have organized a large number of events. There are innovative forms of yoga which has been developed in Argentina, for example, tango yoga, natya yoga, and second is the kind of enthusiasm it has generated among public. Indian High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, Ranjan Mathai, says, The International Day of Yoga will be celebrated in a very, very big way in the United Kingdom. In London alone, there will be at least 22 different venues where people will come together to celebrate, to exercise, to speak and to learn. There will be events held in Birmingham, in Edinburgh, in Belfast and in Cardiff, 35 different cities all across this land. Indian High Commissioner to Portugal, Jitendra Nath Mishra. A lot about yoga in Portugal is special and we are trying to include everybody because yoga means union and unity and being connected. Guru Amrita Suryananda Maharaj has worked tirelessly for yoga all over the world and in recognition of that he was awarded the Padma Shri for the year 2015 by the President of India and that's a very special honor. The first time a Portuguese has been given that honor. Release of a commemorative postcard honoring the event that is the International Day of Yoga by the CTT Corairos de Portugal that is the Portuguese Postal Department. So this will be immortalized. This is a great honor to India and of this very special day that we are celebrating. In India, hectic preparations are on for this mega event. Delhi's Rajpath has been gearing up for the celebrations for the International Day of Yoga. Over 35,000 people are expected to practice yoga, with yoga guru Swami Ramdev leading the mass yoga demonstrations on that day. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will grace the occasion to mark the celebrations. Your Guru Baba Ramdev has sent us this message on International Day of Yoga. एक तरह से भारत की संस्कृति की ये विजय है जो भारत जगत गुरु विश्व गुरु रहा आखिर पूरी दुनिया को भारत ने क्या दिया तो हम कह सकते हैं कि पश्चिम ने यदि पूरी दुनिया को विज्ञान दिया तो भारत ने पूरी दुनिया को योग और अध्यात्म दिया और ये उस योग और अध्यात्म को सेलिब्रेट करने का दिन है इसलिए हम सबको इक्कीस जून को सम्मिलित होना है a number of celebrities and sports stars have been involved in popularizing the ancient practice of yoga. Namaskar, this is Amitabh Bachchan. Namaskar, I am Hema Malini. I practice yoga every day. It has nurtured and enriched my life. Yoga is a wonderful discipline. It made me feel confident and competitive. Practice yoga, it will make you feel free and relaxed. Yoga, live life to its full potential. Across the world, too, many political leaders and celebrities will be in the forefront of the International Day of Yoga celebrations. Their mission will be to promote yoga and the benefits that it promises for the individual and for social well-being for people across the planet. Just as the hands come together in Namaskar Yoga, the union of the individual consciousness is achieved with the universal consciousness through the practice of yoga. Come on the first International Day of Yoga. Let us invoke the spirit of Yoga Sadhana to clear all misconceptions of our being and bring all the hues and colors into our lives. 
for a meaningful, blissful existence, free from the politics of religion, race and nationality. Come, let us all be a part of the global celebrations on this International Day of Yoga and make the dream of Vasudeva Kutumbakam, the whole world being one family, come true. Namaskar. Namaskar.